Okay, so this is the first test of our little uh, display system here. This is as, uh, as posted by a Mr. Greg Fordyce. I hope I'm getting that name correct. Um, this is um, also the code that he um, published. So we just got an initial testing uh, set up here. Where we have a control board uh, set up here. Just uh, there's no uh, power stage on it. It's just a it's just a standard control board, and uh, just got a throttle input on it here. And we've got it hooked up um, through the RS232 port coming out here. And we go out of the RS232 port. And uh, that's, that's a little better. Coming out of the RS-222 port. Coming down here through a little back to back. Going into this little circuit I bought on eBay. This little um, RS-232 shifter with a MAX-232 uh, IC. Come down to a little piece of strip board here I just uh, set up so that it supplies just a little five volt, uh, just a little five volt or egg on back there. So a few other components, and it basically breaks that um, TTL or, or sorry RS two three two data down to five volt TTL. It's fed into our four G systems display is currently uh, displaying some data for us so I'm gonna just go ahead now I'm just gonna just gonna tweak the throttle pot see the display changing just trying to get it to focus a little better here so we can see the values change as I vary the throttle and it's just as I say the initial code so let's see if I can uh, do a few changes to this. Hopefully get some bar graphs going, that kind of thing. Uh, this is a very powerful display processor on here. It's by 4D Systems. And uh, let's see, you have to. Go, I have to get a little um, micro SD card on this thing to save the programs on. That's one thing that uh, I forgot about. I can have software in RAM but I can't actually save a program on board the card itself. So as soon as I take the power away um, it dumps the program obviously. So that's about it. I'm gonna do a few more tests on this, get the code sorted out and we can try it in the car hopefully then. Uh, yeah, it's quite a good dis display. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, so we're back again with our display. I uh, made a couple of changes to Greg's code. And as we can see, the first change here is that the numbers are and the characters are much bigger on the dis dis play and uh, I have also taken out the part of the code that was causing the screen to flicker uh, that was because it was uh, it was essentially uh, clearing the entire screen um, every 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 time that it got a new data frame from the uh, from the control board there so I'm going to just go ahead now and I'm just going to tweak the little throttle pot and we should be able to see what happens. And we can see we're getting our displays there. Everything as it should be. So, first little change I've done. So this will be tested out in the car fairly soon. 
myself to get that um, memory card otherwise I'll have to just program the display each time so uh, I'll try and uh, go ahead and get some bar graphs going maybe change some of these about a bit to uh, have a little bit of a graphical display hopefully I will see how I fare out doing that okay that's it for now